home. Our home. Would you really allow others to drive us away from it? Be that as it may, it is dangerous here right now, and I'd rather have you safe than, oh, I don't know, comfortable or whatever argument you wish to bring up. <laughs> this is ridiculous, Hana. We shouldn't be discussing this. You need to leave now. Let me handle things here, Buttercup. That's not an argument, Luke. It's a ghost. It is then that their expression turns absolutely horrific, and everything turns complete and you're a shite. And her body shudders and shakes as sh as if she's about to have a seizure until her visage ripples and changes. Golden yellow hair is slowly stained with the inky black, and her face melts into that that of the woman, the maid from before, with a menacing expression on her face. Along with it is the shifting of the very ground we stand on. It's a slow thing, a whisper more than a bang. As, if the, as the darkness creeps into every corner of the room. The walls shudder and groan, blood runs from the ceiling, crawls down the walls and stains the floor. Spooky! Hey, what's up, Zin Zadarian? Thank you for being here. How are you, sir? It, it, it feels as if life itself is being sucked from the house slowly but surely. The beauty of the place is gone, with only the dead, decaying remains of a mansion left in its wake. I don't have to wonder if it is just the foyer that's become this nightmarish place. I can already hear it. Gone are the groaning of thunder and the lashings of rain and wind against the foyer's eye windows. All of it has been replaced by a more grating sound. Oh crap! A cacophony of voices from nowhere and everywhere echoing throughout the now arid walls. Voice that never belongs to us nor the people who live here. This game is just really pulling me. Oh yes, it is a good game. I must say this is probably the best novel game, uh, no, visual novel that I've played uh, ever. Honestly, ever. And I'm wondering what ending I'm gonna get. I hope it's a good one. I'm gonna try to get the good one, but I know two people already died, so <laughs> I'm crossing fingers. What? What's going on? What's going on? Help! Please! All throughout the house, shouts of alarm and surprise ring out, a mirror to the horror creeping up in each of us. Who will not be shocked? This is insane. Have you played this game by yourself as in Zadarian? At the sight of it, Lily trembles, hugging herself closer, while Feather stands protectively in front of her. Brave of him, I have to admit, to put himself in the front like that. Though, it doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't feel the same fear as the rest of us. Something I don't blame him for. There seems to be no end in sight to this insanity. If anything, if anything, this only feels like it's the beginning. Is it getting pre pretty intense? Yes! Of the end. Help me! Oh my god! Please! Somebody! Ah, Have you played this game by yourself, um, Zardarian? Uh, who are you? No, no, no! Stay away! What are those voices? No, no, no! Stay away! Stay! Stay away! I'm not afraid of you, you spook! That's Isabella. This, this is one Scots woman. You aren't getting into an early grave without a fight! Never mind, that's Maria. <laughs> no! She's here! You've gotta let me out! She's gonna kill me! Oh, that's Zack! Oh my god, that's the dead people! Oh no, man! You don't actually own the game, sadly. Aw, oh, that's no big deal. Someone! She's... Their screams fill the mansion. Oh, it's the voices of all the people she killed. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, she laughs all the while, a harsh, agonizing sound that goes on for what feels like forever. 
Oh no! Until there is nothing but silence. Her horrid smile and pale hands reaching out to me. Cowling. A cunning. Bleeding. I'm terrified. I really am. Like I should be. But I have never been one to truly stay afraid. I've long learned that fear will not get me anywhere. Cowering in a corner doesn't keep me safe and it will not keep me alive. Not like rage does. I've learned to use this burning hate inside of me to survive. There is no difference now. Uh, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Why? Why do you wish to leave? This is where you belong, my lord. Nope. Remember the blood we share? This is your home. The blood we share? Oh, I, I, yeah, I remember. Lady Charlotte and her husband were cousins. That's fucked up. That's just wrong. You promised to return. To stay. <clears throat> Together with me. With us. With people no different from you. Her voice is dying. Don't listen to her, she lies. I promised no such thing to anyone. We bought this house weeks ago. How should I know what she's bobbling about? I never even wanted to be here in the first place. Incest is Winces? In that game! Is that Winces actually? Ugh, no. A terrible case of mystic and identity, that must be it. I'm quite sure of it. But what the fuck? What do you mean, mistaken identity? Can't you see the walls are covered in blood? What the f- Ah, always trying to find a rational um, a ju uh, reason to all of these things. I don't know this woman, this monster. Why would I say that to someone like her? In my entire lifetime, I've only made and kept sincere promises to a mere two people. Anna Heavens and Eleanor Chandler, his mother. No one else. The rest of those who claim I have promised anything to them can go fuck themselves. Bloody hell. I may enjoy the company of women, but I am not an idiot to start parting no such nonsense to anyone. A line must be drawn, especially if, if I am to keep myself alive. Yet, she still goes on, insists, making me appear a liar in front of those people. Of course you still deny it. Have you truly forgotten? Garden what? You haven't changed, I see. Still a deceiver. She's lying! She's lying! Oh. What the hell is she saying? You see, my love. Nothing has changed. Still no difference, you and I. Just like the rest of us. Just like every single soul in this putrid wreck. We waited for so long. You can hear them, yes. Their pleas. Their calls. Their invitation. Come, my lord. The house seeks its master. Its master? She? The monster reaches out again. Her hands a gory, abhorrent sight. Along with that smile spread across her face, my body is already moving on this instinct. Stumbling back one step at a time in a desperate bid to be away from her. Anything to put a distance between me and this vile creature. No matter what she says, I am nothing like her. I need to get out of this house. Out of this country, preferably. There's nothing for me here, not anymore. Nothing to keep me tied to this place. With Hannah beyond saving, no longer the same woman I knew. He's already assuming she's beyond saving. And shrunken, likely taken by this woman, nothing is left to bind me to this wretched city. I can leave, I can. My footsteps on something, sending me sliding on my back and flat on the floor. Beside me, a paper, a familiar one, flutters down. Oh, that's the letter from the beginning! I forgot about that. If this thing again, it's this thing again, from the open house. Though it feels like, it feels less like a gimmick and more like a threat with, uh, what with recent events. 
it must have fallen from one of the peasants in the commotion earlier. For a moment, they appear conflicted to see in my in my hands, but wisely keeps their opinions to themselves, leaving the damn thing to simply bear his drizzly message for everyone in the room to see. Help me! Help me! Help me! Is this it? What they've been telling us? Why everything in my life has gone to shite? Because of some stupid old letter? An invitation indeed. One I am not willing to accept. Not any time. From the top of the stairs the creature moves again, drawing my attention back to her. Her gait remains slow and awkward as she walks forward, that smile never leaving her. But I don't. I won't give her the chance. I am not dying here. I certainly am not giving myself to an idiot creature like her, either. Adrenaline kicks in and despite panicked gasps and worried glances from the people in the room, I pay them no minds as I reach for the main door and... Without warning, it slams open, revealing not to mention... Drowns like I am expecting. Before my mind can even comprehend what's happening, black tentacles have already coiled tightly around my limbs dragging every person in the way into the room. None of us even get to scream when the darkness completely envelopes us upon the doors closing. Understand where your place is now, my love. Uh oh. You belong here. Is it so difficult to grasp? We've been waiting. No. <laughs> What? Why are we back here? There's a moment of panic when the feeling of tendrils around my limbs finally dissipates. As soon as my eyes adjust to the darkness of the room and I'm on my feet, I'm reaching for my knife and holding out, watching, waiting for every movement. Using it as a way to put distance between me and these peasants. Who knows what they will do now? We're all desperate to get out of this house. There's only four of us in this room. Two of them friends at that. So Min has already gone loon, crouched in a corner and muttering to herself, you can't really say anyone saves from her. If anything, she is the one I should watch out for. I cannot trust these people not to turn on me. I cannot trust anyone. Not anymore. Not after this. Despite the pleading looks, Lily shoots me my way while they all huddle in a corner behind fear of feathers. But I have to remind myself that even people like her are capable of doing the unpleasant. She's only human after all. It's, uh, it's never an excuse why even Anna has a cunning, manipulative moment, though she does it much subtler than I. Why else would Lily show this letter to us that day if not to save herself? I guess that backfire on her now that she and her own friends are also stuck in there. Still, I have every right to be livid. Everything, everything that I built has fallen apart. All because these people came into our lives. You, all of you, all of you. This is all your fault. If I've died to this bloody case, I'm taking you all down with me. <laughs> Jesus. Calm down, right? The situation's already bad. You're just making it worse. You shut your mouth! You shut your mouth! If it weren't for you, or this letter, for all of you, none of this would have happened! Oh, and I love his voice. So powerful. Anna would still be. Suddenly, Min steps up and slaps the knife away from my hand. How dare you! How dare you put that blame on us! Without batting an eye, glaring at me as if she, as if she might just rip my head off in the distance, said knife slides uselessly under the table out of my reach. I've almost forgotten she's here, her ramblings having faded away in the shouting. I should have expected she's not the kind to submit even other threats. Right now, all of us appear smaller, facing her anger. Last I checked, we were only trying to save you from this! And what of Lily over there? You were there when she showed us that paper! Why are you saying she isn't responsible for this mess? 
for the lives this sordid ladder 